I like how writing with the watcher involves like not looking at what you're writing. You literally feel like you're tapping into the soul of the watcher and just writing what he tells you to. Okay, I would like to give you back some of the book. You should pray with me again. Hooray! And after peeing, read the book yourself. And you should go home and see if you even have enough mithril to forge a prototype blade. Because I didn't think that adamite would be so much easier to find. Okay, I need crude longsword. Well, I have a lot of crudium, so that's not gonna be a problem. Didn't realize the full relevance of this text. The Mace Moon forged the most perfect weapons ever seen. Book chronicles not only his techniques, but his whole life. I shall copy the practical bits for blacksmith crits to use and translate the full text for further study. This could be great undiscovered lore. Oh great, that's not a scribe table. Why does everything need a scribe table? Why doesn't any table do? Look, church peoples, isn't it great? We have a communal scribe table now. Okay, let's transcribe floor twice and then get some sleep again. Okay, you done with your crude sword? Well, yeah, and you want to sleep. Don't think I'm awake, yeah. Okay, you're not very focused, so go back to sleep. Okay, let's make some food. Tench soup will be enough. And let's try to transcribe some lore again. And you should also eat some food, even though you're a bit less hungry than him. Food is love. Food is life. Nom 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 nom. Uh, forge. I would like to forge a... Where's the thing? Where did the thing go? There we go, that thing. I would like to do that thing. Okay. Uh, so let's send the requests and stuff. And then let's go here and give him a thingy. Uh, a snowy pigeon delivered a scroll bearing the seal of the great airbury to blacksmith Krish, who read it with glowing charging. Watchers see you, brother. Your request has been received, and while your pursuit of knowledge is laudable, the information in question is highly prized. Before we can release it from the vaults, a standard evaluation must be conducted. As such, we are sending representative to discuss it with you further. Okay. Did you finish the smacky smacky yet? Ah. Yeah, you did. This is passable as prototype to test the blade's edge and durability. I need a whetstone for sharpening and I should visit the town square to check its resilience. Okay, I'll give you some transcribed notes and go home. Because I have things to do there.
Formulas translated by Lord Sain the Illustrious are incredibly sophisticated for what this was written. Wait. Lord Sain translated this? Didn't we just do it? No? Okay. One of the most promising again by this mysterious Mace Moon is unique combining of rare metals into what Wacom clade and called an alloy. This may yield better results than blade of singular ore. I have to test this theory the first chance I get. Uh. Okay, I need to befriend you, but I also need to be home. And I need to forge a crude sword. Let's just make sure that we actually do it and not just go god knows where like we normally do. And wow, we're close to leveling up. Did the ore here not respawn yet? Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong place. My precious mithril. I'ma go go get it. Okay, now let's. It's one p.m. So study the va uh, the watcher it should be very nicely the amount of time that we require to do so, and yay for level nine. I think this one will easily hit level 10 with this. Okay, how do I how do I get a whetstone by the way? I suppose they should have some in the village shop. Well either way I can do that. So that's the thing. Blacksmith Chris skillfully applied whetstone along the newly forged mithril blade. After a few strokes, the sword's gleaming edge sliced neatly through this shiny stone. Blacksmith Chris nodded in satisfaction. While well, not the masterpiece of crafting he was hoping for, this blade might be a suitable gift for Lord Satan the Illustrious, but only after it passed the test of durability. Okay, we need to find a training dummy. I think it's somewhere this way. Go, go, go! Uh, how are you doing? Not bad. Go, go, give sermon! After a few minutes on the training dummy, blacksmith Krish paused to catch his breath. Much to his chuckling, the sword supple mithril blade has bent in several places along its length. The metal, while be beautiful, was simply too soft to hold up against any prolonged use. Certainly, this could not be given to discerning Lord Saint de Lystrius. Okay, let's go home and try and find the alloy blade then. You don't like me making jokes either? Nor do you like me being a... You just really don't like me, do you? Yes, I think that you just really don't like me. No matter what I do, I can't get popular. Uh... That's actually a lot like real life. No matter what I do, I cannot get popular there either. Uh, chat and gossip and get to know. It might be my playstyle. Most people put more attention and care into it. And I'm very thoughtless. Uh, forge, forge, forge. Okay, alloy. We need something with the alloy thingy. Okay, superior alloy. We can do this quite easily. And 
then we need a crude longsword, I believe. Uh, hello, sir. Evaluation, you said. And. A crude longsword it is. It's so nice when it's all on one menu and I don't have to check multiple things. Greetings, Prior Carbon. I am Pedrin representative. Before I can release the precious text into your possession, I have been asked to affirm the recipient's man of faithful devotion. Further knowledge is never free, must be earned or trade. If you can prove your piousness in part with your recently translated text, I'll feel confident about letting you the only known no copy of Mace Moon's Chronicles. Okay, set salmon time, 6 p.m. In the meantime, we can eat. How are you doing? Hmm. You're doing just fine. <coughs> okay, now forge the remaining thingy that's to do with the two other thingies. Yeah. Where's my thingy? There we go. That's where my thingy went. Yay! The combining of two rare ores into single blade was a true challenge, but the alloy took to the fire and hammer and... Oh boy, I'm missing the, the sermon. Okay. Impassionate service. Uh, the sermon, the fire and hammer, with a perfect mix of resilience and suppleness, yielding an extremely ha handsome and balanced blade. However, the true test would be running it through its paces on training dummy and trying its edge with good sharpening. Uh, where's my sword? Sharpen it. Oh. Uh, okay. There's bound to be some training dummies somewhere over here. Which there are. Hope that you're giving your sermon. You are, even though you're fairly unpopular, but you are. Panting with exertion of brutalizing the royal training dummy, blacksmith. Rish wiped his brow and gazed down at the sword in his hands. The alloy blade seemed untouched by half an hour's worth of heavy impacts. This experiment seemed promising indeed, but blacksmith Krish would not get his hopes up until it passed the sharpness test. Okay, let's sharpen it again then. Enough! <coughs> Sufficiently killed it. <laughs> Yay, we did the thing. With practiced movements, Blacksmith Krish swept the last wet stone along the experimental alloy blade. Just a few strokes, the shiny stone was split neatly in two and the sword's edges gleamed with inner fire. Blacksmith Krish smiled in delight. While the sword was lighter than normal and its hilt crude, the blade itself was brilliant and deadly. Finally, Krish felt he had the makings of a true masterpiece. Only a resizing and a few final embellishments remained. That's cool. Ah, uh, where are you? Book for book, dude. Book for book. Book for book. Book for book. Book for book. There we go. Now we can have some nap naps. Your devotion to the Watcher and passion for lore marks you as true and faithful pattern, and your affinity for the nuances of the ancient language is impressive. You could have easily been a monk with the ivory, but I see you're doing equally noble work here in ivory. Is that like a library of eyes? Enjoy the tome, Carbon, and may the Watcher guide you. Oh, you're gonna ruin everything by eating gruel. Not actual, you know, proper food, but... It's your choice. I'm trying 
to give both of them a little bit of extra time so that Priest could become level 8 as well. Prior Carbon saw the life of Miss Moon was inspiring yet tragic. Failing for Princess Moon and his love fled halfway across the world from her enraged father until assassins finally caught up with them. He died defending his love and she turned carried his sword to a still pond where she disappeared, awaiting a worthy successful to the Mace's legacy. Closing the book, Prior Carbon found himself inexplicably drawn to learn more about the Sation ancient text. Uh, research that Patrick thingy. It's 3 a.m. You might as well. Deep in prayer, Prior Carbon suddenly confronted by a dreamlike upper. That wasn't praying, that was reading a book. Uh, a lithe female figure stood on the edge of a mirror like pond, her flowing white clothes white whipping wildly about her despite the stillness. She drew something shining from beneath her robes and held it aloft, revealing a dazzling but broken, but broken blade in her upraised hand. Why have you summoned me? the figure asked coldly. Well, let's eat. Food makes all illusions better. Okay, go to the location. You crazy priest that's going a bit insane. And loopy. Uh, let's let's have a chat, lady. Hmm. She is fairly pretty though. Now, if only I could stop catching a cold, that would be so nice. Mm -hmm. Can I has the hilt? Please let me has the hilt. Oh, I shall I shall be has the hilt, so that's good. Prior Carbon, I have seen your heart and your goal. You are compassionate and wise. You are first I have met worthy of carrying on Mace's legacy. But before I can hand over the hilt, I ask one small favor. I have spent lifetimes mourning the loss of my love. The broken sword is all I have left of his memory. If you can bring me some token to remind of Mace, I will gladly offer the hilt in exchange. Here, have a book. I wrote your story down, so that should be good enough. Thank you, Prior Carbon. You have brought peace to my troubled soul, and so you have the hilt. Soon I shall sleep. So my last act, I will lead Blacksmith Krish to Mace Moon's Hidden Forge. Just find me when all is ready. Uh, okay. You get to go and learn the legend. Isn't it exciting? Divan. The Watcher smiles upon us, Grish. I have acquired an exceptionally rare and ancient tome chronalizing life and feats of Mace Moon. Welcome's predecessor. I will spare you the beautif beautifully archaic prose and get to the point of interest, namely the use of miraculous liquids to purify metals to perfection. We'll need rare minerals from you, whilst I provide the holy water by augmenting the well. What archive? Okay, I figured it out. Rather, I read about it. You have to use a goddamn prior's desk because that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. You go and research it. I need a copy of this so that I can write with the Watcher at the same time. I'm just placing infinite furniture all over the place. Uh, right with the Watcher. Who watches the Watcher? Who watches the Watcher? I watch the watcher. I am the watcher. Oh, 
Well, one of you is watching the Watcher and the other one's writing, so that's good. After pondering the details of Mace Moon's theories of metal lore as imparted by Lord Satan the Illustrious, he quickly reviewed town YouTube's village's limited body of crafting knowledge. Mace Moon's theory seems sound. Further, Blacksmith Krish presumed that if he could augment the catalyst recipes beyond the mana stone base, at the crystal moment, the ancient secrets could be yet improved upon with amazing effect. Uh, go home and forge off the other thingies first. And you can just do some infinite writing. Because god boy, you need it. Okay, basic staffed and crude plate now. Or we can do crude plate mail first, because why not? Okay, we has some crude plate mail. You can has it. It's a gift. And I will forge a uh, basic stuff now. There we go. Nice wooden stick. Perfect. Wooden stick that we need some coal for. Because reasons. And you can have that. And then I need to finish forge an unfinished legendary thingy. Okay, superior alloy. Do I know how to make that? No. Or maybe I do, but I don't have the ingredients. Yes, I need more at the mantle. So let's... Let's go to the village and grab just that. Adamanto, Adamanto, it's purple and I know it. Like that, like that, it's purple and I know it. Like that, like that. Go home. How's writing? Well, writing is good because you just leveled up, so that makes. Oh, cool, wrestling match. Or whatever that was. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Seem to be doing just fine. Superior ally, please. I want the good stuff. Continue making the item. Don't get into my way. You're supposed to help me, not impede me. And we want to make... How was it called? The legendary thingy. Yeah, now I'm lacking mithril. God damn it. Let's just press this. Go and get to our only mithril deposit. Then it should be there. Yay! It's there! Well, now we're hungry and sleepy again, though. Just goddamn annoying. So annoying. Well, that's okay, because that should make us level 8. I meant 10. What do I mean, 8? Craft the unfinished legendary thingy magog. Thingy magog! Why not? I have lots of electrum so I can, you know. Might as well place it, but slumbery thingy first. You have just finished with your slumbery thingy. And you're not exactly hungry, so you might as well do some more writing so that 
I know you level up's good again. I'm trying to finish this before the slightly focused thing wears off because it's bad when it does. Okay. Pair catalyst. Mana stone, god damn it. There we go! Secret inventory sharing for the win. Well, he here you go, here's blessed stuff and stuff. Go, go and do your thing. Go, go find the legendary lady and just do your thing. Okay? Okay. After years beyond counting, my time in this world is drawing to a close. Before we reunite with my lost love, I shall lead you to the forgotten forest and forge deep into the forest. Honor his legend and mine. Craft your masterpiece. Fair enough. I will, lady. Time is running out, though. I'm getting fairly unfocused, and that's gonna ruin everything. Okay. Just, just pray. Uh, following the directions, Blackmiss uh, stumbled into the hidden forest glade containing an ancient stone kiln. Blacksmith prepared the forge, feeding dried kindling, and gathered the sword parts for the final joining. I'll, I'll make a deadly blade. Minutes slipped as blacksmith lost himself in the artistry of crafting a masterpiece. Folding the metal alloy upon itself countless times, he joined it to the legendary hilt of Mace Moon. Krish then thrust the entire weapon into glowing embers, getting the metal white hot before dousing it with powerful catalyst. The blade seemed to hum as the liquid coated its surface. Good. Thingy. Hooray! <laughs> uh, well, Priest is now level 9. Krish is level 10. She's just fine. Uh, burning with creative fire, Blacksmith Chris rose above the mundane craft that typically occupied, occupied his forge to craft a masterpiece, turning to prior carbon for his vast knowledge of lore and divine support. Two unlikely heroes discover an ancient recipe for a legendary sword. Yum. Legendary sword and cool. It's just... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Literally one person. Not at level 10. And it's Jacobins! <laughs> and we're out of RP crap. So let's. There, there obviously will be quests that we can hopefully do with our Jacobin. Or for that matter, you know. quest that allows us to choose anyone. So next time we're here we should be power leveling our Jacobin to level 10 and we should be ending this let's play which is great. I love medieval but this is starting to drag on a bit because this is a kind of hard ambition actually. But I did not want to repeat just the basic one because everybody does the basic one and the basic one's boring. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I did not expect that to take that long, despite it being a two-person quest. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't bore you too much.